Hello everyone, my name is Eddie Joe. I am an intensivist, and the article I'm going to be taking apart today is titled Impact of Natural Light Exposure on Delirium Burden in Adult Patients Receiving Invasive Mechanical Ventilation in the ICU, a Prospective Study. This is my interpretation of the article, and I may be making some errors. I am not a statistical genius. I am a boots on the ground, bedside intensivist, not in academia, trying to do the best for my patients. I am human. I make mistakes. This article was published yesterday, October 17th, 2019, and today is October 18th, 2019. If you learn anything, please hit, hit the like button and or comment on my video. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote my page and therefore these articles and videos get to more people. Also, you can follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. My handle is at EddieJoeMD and the links to this study and many other articles I share on this page, YouTube, Instagram, etc. are on my website EddieJoeMD.com. Check the description box below. Okay, now that that's all over with, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, thank you to these researchers right here. Without these guys, I wouldn't be able to do my job. I am not a researcher. Like I said, bedside, boots on the ground, physician. And I would like to say that I have great disdain for delirium. Natural light brings me joy. Today, for example, the sun isn't shining as bright as it usually is. It's transitioning into fall. The day is cloudy, gloomy. I'm in turn a little bit grouchy. Daylight savings is also coming, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But nonetheless, uh, when that comes... Mood changes all over the place. So since the study was is about natural light and it was published yesterday, let's try to get into a more pleasant mood. Preventing and treating delirium is something we haven't quite figured out just yet in the ICU. This study is more, more geared towards, well, is absolutely geared towards mechanical ventilation patients. There are strategies that we employ in the ICU, such as trying to maintain the patient's normal circadian rhythm, potentially giving them melatonin, putting in their hearing aids, uh, putting their glasses on them, having patients, uh, having their families around to constantly, re constantly reorient them, minimize how many times we stick them for labs, minimize uh, folding catheters, restraints, all those things to try to minimize delirium. So this particular study, what they looked at was how natural light compared to artificial light has an effect on these patients. Okay, I think that's pretty cool that they looked at doing this. This is not going to be the answer for uh, curing delirium. That's, that's something that's multimodal and is pretty much going to be impossible, at least the way I look at it. But it is something to chip away at another tool we could use, especially for facilities that do not have natural light. Like I said, in this study, the authors were curious to see whether patients having natural light would affect the incidence of delirium on patients who are on the ventilator. That was their primary outcome. The secondary outcomes included duration of delirium, duration of coma, the use of antipsychotics to treat agitation, the incidence of hallucinations, the incidence of self-extubation, the duration of mechanical ventilation, ICU and hospital length of stay, as well as ICU and hospital mortality. Okay, this was a single-centered French study with 195 patients. So, good good amount of patients for for a single center, at least in my opinion. I don't know how how big that shop is, but they didn't meet meet their primary outcome, which was to um, which was to affect the incidence of delirium. And I honestly didn't think that they would find a difference in this. But what I did find quite interesting and in two of their secondary outcomes in this study was the incidence of severe agitation. You know, the patients who uh, require a lot of Haldol or whatever methodology is utilized at your, um, at your institution. Well, the severe agitation was something that was statistically significantly improved in patients who received natural light. And the other thing that patients benefited from was hallucinations. Hallucinations. I could spell, I promise. These, both of these were decreased by providing natural light and the p-value was equal to 0 0.04 so it was statistically significant fortunately this study is completely free thank you very much to this open access journal for allowing us to obtain this journal this article and i would recommend that you read it for yourself 
I like natural light. I think it's something that's very helpful for our patients. It's free. I mean, just open up the blinds. It may not ameliorate delirium altogether, but it is another tool in our tool belt to help make these patients better. Again, thank you so much for following along in this video and following along in my ride of critical care medicine and evidence-based medicine. Have a great day. Bye-bye.